in my particular case, um, I started trading markets um, when I was a kid, when I was 12. Um, and the markets, um, uh, for, there are certain things about uh, being in the markets in terms of decision making that are unique, that encourage this kind of thinking. Um, so first, um, it, because all of the consensus is already baked into the price, in order to be correct in the markets, in order to make money in the markets, you have to see something that the, con that the consensus doesn't see. So you have to have an independent point of view. Very different than most other professions. Most other professions, um, you can build on existing knowledge. You, you don't have to have a point of view. If, if, you can, if you're a doctor and somebody breaks a leg or whatever, you can repair that leg. It's not zero sum in the sense that you have to be smarter than the next person or different from the consensus. Now, in order to be different from the consensus, um, it's, there's a high risk you're going to be wrong. So if you form, for me, if I form that point of view and I'm wrong, the probability of being wrong, I'm trying to reduce. And, and so by having other people stress test my thinking, it's very practical, right? So I th say I work really hard to have this independent point of view. And then I bring that independent point of view out there and I say, shoot at it. How am I going to be wrong? And let's have that quality back and forth. And, and so that was just a practical approach. Find people who have alternative points of view and have quality conversations back and forth. Not to let them think for me, not for me to follow their point of view, but for me to understand the different perspectives, right? Very, very practical because it increases my probability of being right and it reduces my probability of being wrong. And what I discovered in that process is that I was learning so much. So just imagine what a path it is, fantastic path, to think, let me go after the person who has got the opposite point of view, who's really smart, and let me have quality conversations, quality disagreement. So in my case, it was, it was very much motivated by that. And then I have clear measures of whether I'm right or wrong. So there's a clear accountability. In other words, I could do whatever I want. want. It's my responsibility. If I made a purchase or a sale, I can measure on a day-to-day -day basis how good that process is. So I get clear feedback. Just the goal is, you know, don't be too wrong. Be more right than wrong. And so in that process, it's not I can take personal accountability. I mean, if I don't learn personal accountability, if I don't learn then I'm going to pay a terrible price. So that process itself lent itself to this kind of very open-minded decision, the, also the, the making mistakes and, and, and the loving the mistakes. And then um, because I believe of that, we have a culture that's of radical transparency, right? So every meeting is, is taped and made available for everybody in the company to look at. And all we have are conversations of what makes sense. Like everybody has the right to make sense of things. Okay, now in that environment, I get to see how differently people think. I realize how radically different people think. And so that was a curiosity to me. I really, because it's masked. You have no idea what's going on behind other people's eyeballs. You know, they're in their heads. They're it's, they all look a lot alike, but their brains work so differently. 